Hello fellow 3D printers, I'm Jay Wall with Print That Thing, and today we're going to be updating my CR-10S with a Bontech Dual Drive Extruder Kit. So I've been talking to Bontech, uh, they sent me this extruder to try and test out and just uh, 3D print with it and just get uh, better results out of my machine. So I'm pretty excited to upgrade the CR-10S because the CR-10S already prints way better than the CR-10 in my opinion. So I think this is going to take it even to the next level. And this video is just my process. I'm just going to go step by step and uh, show you how to upgrade your CR-10S with this uh, Bontech. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. Let's install it. First thing you want to do is adjust your stepper current to 50% less. So go ahead and unplug your 3D printer so you don't get electrocuted and take off the bottom panel here. There's also four screws on the side. So just Unscrew all those with the hex wrench and then brush that off and unscrew the power supply and then just move that over to the side. You know, and then we've got the little motherboard there and we're going to be using this multimeter. So go ahead and set it to two decimal places on DC power. Plug your printer back in. Do not electrocute yourself, please. And what we're going to do is put the one side the black side on this part and the red part on this little turning knob and I'm getting a negative value so that means something's wrong so it actually turns out that I have a newer CR10 so I'm supposed to put the black over here and then put the red right here and there we go we're getting 0.7 so that's good but we want to cut that in half so now we're going to use a tiny screwdriver and just turn that ever so slightly until you get a reading of 420 or 0.4 is fine and then unplug your printer again and put that all back together so if you're not familiar with these uh, most extruders just have one gear that kind of turns and pushes the filament and then there's just this one idle kind of bearing type thing this has two uh, gears that push you know push the filament through at a higher force and can take different um, types of materials like exotics, flexibles, and just, you know, everything. So let's go ahead and open the box. So we have Bontech, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. We've got the uh, little sticker that we'll be putting on the printer here. And it looks like this. So this will go into the back of the CR-10. Yes, I've read that they updated the, the the look and the feel of this it looks very professional we've got some tubing some tools and then for this oh yeah this feels good we've got the hot end here the extruder is just built into it right on top so we'll just feed the filament down into there pretty cool it looks very 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 professional so they've also which i thought was pretty cool the thermistors and the little temperature gauges they're just little pinch wires that you can just pop off and easily replace. That way you don't have to go into all this cord and change out uh, you know, all the different things, which I've done before and it sucks. And the last piece they have in the box here is the filament sensor. But this is to detect when you run out of filament. All right, now the fun part, stripping down the CR-10S. Go ahead and unplug the back extruder cable there. Bloop. And make sure you power off your printer as well. And now we're going to take off the PTFE tube and just kind of, you know, take everything off slowly by slowly. Take the filament sensor off because we don't need that old one. And then we're going to remove this uh, stepper motor and the lever, this little plate. So go ahead and move that plate. We don't need him anymore. Don't even need this stepper motor. So go ahead and unplug it. And then we're going to take off this box that houses our, our hot end. Don't need that. Then we're going to take off the hot end here. Next, these are all the tools that I used to, to take it apart. And these are the parts that you re will remove. But now the fun part. Now we get to put the direct drive for the CR-10S onto our, our 3D printer. So go ahead and disconnect the stepper motor. Not sure why they made us do that, but we did it. And there it is disconnected now take that stepper motor and unscrew it off of the combo kit here we'll put that back on later and now 
unscrew the housing. We're going to open up this bad boy and see what's inside. That's inside. Wow. Now just attach it to the carriage mount. And I kind of messed this part up. So, uh, you know, you want to make sure that when you put it on, there's those two bolts right there coming through. And then there's one, two, three different screws that hold it on. And then just put your, your hot end back in there. And then you want to check your bearing. There's a ball bearing right here. Sometimes it can get uh, messed up on shipping and be stuck right there. But you want to make sure it's right there. And then put that housing back on and screw it on down. Screw it on down to Funky Town. And then once you got it nice and snug, you know, now we're going to add the fan shroud. And so it'll only go on one way. Line it on up and put those M3 bolts in there. And then put your cooling fan down in that hole and put those screws in there. Just screw it on in. And then you'll put the last screws on the side there. That'll kind of lock it all up nice and tight. Now reconnect the stepper motor, put the stepper motor back in there. You may have to wiggle it um, and then just tighten it on up. So we're getting pretty close. I know you can feel it. Go ahead and check the gears, make sure they're spinning. Just give it a little thumb test, looking good. Now you wanna take this wire that's just all willy nilly and set it into this groove and then take this thumb screw and screw it on down all the way and then back off a few and throw down that PTF E2 and add your clips. So now we've got it all nice and clean. We're gonna take the old filament sensor that came with the printer and put it in this really cool new one that has this really nice ball bearing and put it in there and screw it back down. So uh, just a few screws and then pop this guy onto the CR10. You really gotta push it and then reconnect the little sensor so it works and put in the tube. Yeah. And then, you know, slide that, that extra cable into this groove and connect it into the cord. And then put that uh, new extruder cord into the back of your CR10S and get ready. It's time to update the firmware. Bontech Modified. So we need a USB cord and we will plug it into the little guy here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna try and connect it to my laptop all the way over here. Okay. So now we're gonna download the firmware. We have several firmware versions in that photo. Be sure to choose the one that best fits your 3D printer. So we want the regular. There we go. So we've got that. I just unzipped it and now we have this file here. And so now we've got it. We've connected the printer. Go to device manager check what com your port your printer is running on ports com 5 okay open cura 4.3 or newer so i'm opening up cura here and so i had to do it a little different i had to go to settings printer manage printers update firmware and then upload custom firmware that's how i did it for the new one okay now it's updating the firmware and it says, don't forget, reduce retraction distance to one millimeter and retraction speed to 35 millimeters a second before using the extruder. Once it finishes, it should reset this. All right, boom. Hey, hey. All right, that's good. Firmware update completed. So a little bit different than their instructions here. All right, I think we did it. Uh, undo that. Let's just try this. APLA. Oh, that's cool. The light shows up. <laughs> okay. So, I had to kind of get it started there. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. So, now we're going to bring in a file. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's cool. Now it says Bontech CR10S ready. Yeah! So check out this Bontech. Everything looking good. I hear the fan turning on. Leveling on the fly. That's how we do it. I'm not even looking. So I 
finally got it installed. Super easy, way easier than uh, doing it for the CR10. If you want to see how to do it for the CR10, I'll put a link up here in the uh, little third eye there. But overall, very, very, very impressed with this little uh, upgrade combo kit. So it's the extruder and the hot end that uh, just takes it up a notch. So far, I'm 3D printing right now at 300 times the speed I usually do. And it looks great so i'll have a whole video where i talk about everything you know i'll kind of play with it for a few weeks or a few months and see how the quality changes what i like and don't like about it and then uh you know kind of report back so if you want to buy one of these you can go over to their website which is just bontech.se or you can go to my website ptt.live and go to my gear list either way is fine but i mean overall the thing feels good it has a good like weight to it it feels strong it feels really well made um, the instructions were very clear but yeah let me know any questions down below if you have if you're installing this or you're thinking about installing it and I'll try and help you uh, you know answer any questions but yeah that's all I got today thanks for watching had a ton of fun S super super shout out and thank you to Bontech I'm I really didn't even know what I was getting into or what these things did before they sent them to me and I'm just very amped up and excited and uh, inspired to make some cool stuff now that I've got these power tools I mean these printers don't get me wrong were already great they were like printing at like a nine and a half ten you know they were good I don't really have that many problems with them but now that I know that I have these Bontech like power extruders <laughs> with like dual drives and I can do exotic filaments and flexibles I got all these flexibles and more that I have to play with so it's about to get crazy but I just want to say thanks again and let me know in the comments if you have any questions thoughts concerns and I'll see you all next week all right peace